And there was one other question that I feel like we avoid the most about two particular people that I had to cut out of my life. What, what is, is up, up Halo, Halo Army? Army? It's your boy Milo. It's your girl Hazel. And what are we doing today, shorty? Today we're doing a Q&A. We're gonna be answering some questions we feel like we've been avoiding a little bit. You just wanna get started? So we just took some screenshots from our Instagram. Yeah. We took a lot of the questions that was more so unanimous, like the questions that a lot of we got pretty frequently. Have y'all ever thought about making an OnlyFans? No. Yes, we have. We have, but it wasn't for like the purpose of you know what? It was just for like exclusive content. Yeah, nothing but sexual. But not like nudity. But we have considered making our OnlyFans for... Just exclusive yeah. stuff. Like, but nothing like nasty. Like, so the next question, it was extremely frequent, bro. I feel like every time I scrolled, it was somebody else asking it. I feel like this is just the, one of the biggest questions we don't talk about because in a lot of cases it's due to personal reasons so we don't feel like it has to be explained but i pray you guys are both healthy and i hope that everything is okay i do appreciate that but uh why so much inconsistency i'm not surprised that we got this question so frequently mm -hmm. because we do find ourselves being very inconsistent previously it was due to more so personal reasons like we had the you know the situation with you and like it was always something that was happening then we got a strike on youtube and that's where everything kind of like took a shift yeah. you know what i mean when we got our strike on youtube like nothing was the same like everything on youtube just changed everything with our account just changed ever since that time period when we got that strike none of our videos are like sent out like our recommendations is like one percent on every single video like even if you search up some of our most popular videos like our video don't, don't our video is like the, the tenth video and the haunted bathroom video it don't one, even pop up it was yeah. created because you did that on me and that and was, it was our, the highest viewed one and, and when you search up. it our video don't even come up yeah like a little like shadow ban on it. i've done a lot of research <laughs> and with the recent video you did on me which was incredible if you look at our analytics like that's our best performing video that we've ever done mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As far as like analytics, our watch time was 70%, which is viral numbers, bro. That's like yeah. everything that YouTube needs to send your video out, video out to everybody on the platform. The click-through rate was in the 20% mm -hmm. when the average is six. Like everything was phenomenal on that video and the recommendations was less than 1%. Our videos just... So why did we get striked last time? Like, what was the reason? We got we got striked. Strike, we got striked over that video that everybody was drink? doing. The truth or drink. That's yeah. ridiculous. That's literally when everything changed. And if you guys know me, you know what I mean. You know I put a lot into every video we do. I sit up here for 10, 12 hours. There's nobody else that's really putting in 12 hour edits into their video on a prank channel, bro. Like usually like a three hour edit. I'm putting 12 hours in just to try to make sure it's really engaging. And I put a lot into it so it gets a little discouraging when YouTube like don't even show it to our entire audience. Like you, I can't even express how many times we got messages saying, I didn't even know you guys posted. You know what I mean? People that had on po our post notifications on that no longer see our videos pop mm -hmm. up on their feed. Or even further, like there's people who's account just magically unto that's their words not mine <laughs> we've got dms of people saying that their account was no longer subscribed to us for whatever reason as of lately i just feel like things have been very discouraging and we've been trying to along with just everyday life stuff yeah, and like yeah other things that we have you know? yeah but of course that's like expected you know what i mean we're humans we yeah. all go through things on a you know on a personal level which is expected, but I want to talk about more so like the the YouTube situation. Like I really want to try to branch out into a new channel for us. You know what I mean? But it's kind of it's it's kind of hard because we already have such a large audience on here. So it's kind of like I always try to pull the little hope that I feel like we have and try to hope that <laughs> you know you like because supposedly when you when your account is shadow banned, it eventually gets lifted. But at this point, really? I don't. Yeah, but at this point, I don't even know what the situation is. It's just kind of, it's kind of weird to me how in the past like year and a half, not one of our video has hit recommendations. Like mm -hmm. that's, it's, it's almost impossible, bro. It's almost impossible because everything is done right. You know what I mean? I've, I've shifted the way I edit. We, sh I shifted the way I even formulate content. You know what I mean? Like even when I do pranks on you or when we do vlogs, you can tell everything is like thought out. So it's just, I, I don't know. It's very. It's very discouraging. Lay down, mommy. 
that mixed yeah. with our personal like as you guys know we're not the type of people to always put our personal business out there so if we start going through things we kind of like absorb it and we just deal with it and just take you know take the hits as they come without creating content out of stuff like that you know what yeah. i mean a lot of people that do youtube someone goes to the hospital they're vlogging it if something serious is happening they're gonna show it or record it we're not like that we're personally just not like that i feel like just something should just not be on the internet i guess like bouncing off of that question do you guys want to quit youtube no <laughs> <laughs> quitting youtube is not our solution our solution for the past year and a half everything has just been about like adapting our solution is not to quit i personally really like filming on youtube especially for my personal channel i feel like that's where i have the most fun so i don't think like we would ever quit youtube like even if we don't post like on our channel i feel like we would still be posting yeah. on youtube regardless agreed <laughs> <laughs> if you were to split up who would take the cats and the dogs she would 100 percent take them i'm i don't i don't want oh <laughs> like if we break up i don't want them bro i don't yeah i, I mean that's not, i don't know why i'm shocked it's really not surprising yeah but the thing is i love them to death <sighs> but especially if we broke up bro i'm not about to like you feed them every day. I don't know. Okay, listen. So I feel like I would definitely take Halo and I would definitely take Willow because <laughs> no, listen, listen. <laughs> Cello's right here. Can they see her? Is she in frame? She just jumped out. Yeah. But I would definitely take Halo, which is my baby, because I literally he got me her. I bought you her, so you better. When she take was her. like two months old, so that's literally my dog, like my baby. So definitely take Halo. And I'll definitely take Willow, which is our cat that we adopted a year ago. She's very, very attached to me. She really loves me. So, like, obviously, I would take my baby. And then Cielo, which is the one that's right here. She, I love Cielo. We took her in. She was a stray. Bro, she's, the de she's a <laughs> devil cat, bro. She is Listen, literally. Ooh. Let's show her. She's going to growl at you. Listen. So this is yellow right here. We've had her two years, three years. Three years. Yeah. So we've had her for a while. We took her in when a family friend of ours was leaving out of Florida, and they couldn't take her. And they had just they had took her from the street. She was like two months old too. So she was a baby. Um, and Cielo, she's a good cat. She's just very. She likes Bruh. her space. She don't really like to be touched, and she just be having an attitude. Sometimes. In other words, in other words. But, I got scars from her because yeah. like she's 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 a little mean. I'm not gonna lie, but I still love her to death. Like I that's still my baby. Like I would cry if anything ever happened to her. I still show her love. Like she's yeah. still a part of the family. But the thing is, I feel like she's more attached. She's to extremely. You. But this is the she thing. likes him more. Bro, she loves you. She only wants me when she wants me. So like if right, that's just how she is though. I she growls say, at people. Willow and Halo, and I will leave Stella with you. And I feel like that would be the, the best for them. But if you really didn't want her, and you said like no, I do, I don't want her. I don't care. I don't want her. Then of course I would take her. <laughs> I mean, so I'll keep her, but she's gonna be so depressed, bro. Because why would she be depressed? You're what do you why? You think I'm just about to like cuddle her? No. So if she comes to you, I'll, you're gonna push her away? I'll pet her. Exactly. That's how it is now. Why? She I, likes being alone. She okay, likes being so secluded. There, I think I, I feel like that's good for you because she's not a high maintenance cat. She likes her alone time. She don't like. Yeah, I would. I would keep Cielo. I would keep Cielo just because me personally. I'm not like super like affectionate. With right, the, so she's perfect for you. I'm like I'm I'm I feel like I'm more affectionate to Willow and Halo though. I'm not affectionate they don't to her. <laughs> I'm not affectionate to her because she just don't appreciate anybody. Anyway, but next question. I, I think if if I was to if I had to keep any of them, the one I would keep is Halo. So I love Halo. Yeah, but she's that's like definitely the, she's not like gonna the happen. Best, I know she's like <laughs> the best dog ever. Life update, new music projects. By the way, I love y'all. We love you too. We have a song. It's called Lowly Conversation. It's a breakup song, y'all. Yeah. We were aiming for October for it to come out. I have a song, so my first <laughs> solo song. I have a bunch of new songs that I have You're gonna make yet an album? to release. I wanted to release like another EP like in January, but I guess we'll just we'll just see how that works because it's all slow songs and I'm not feeling that. So I'll probably keep like two of those songs and then make more like upbeat songs. My nails, releasing some lashes. Our new Christmas merch, you feel me? Quick little plug, if y'all wanna go cut something, go cut something. Other than that, life update, you know, life. It's not anything too crazy that regular, ordinary people don't go through. Just daily, yeah. you know, everyone goes through like daily struggles and stuff like that. So it's just regular stuff. I feel like this goes into play with this question. We were getting a lot of like wedding updates as well. 
Last year, we wanted to shoot for June. That would have been one full year of being engaged, but we wanted to enjoy one full year of being engaged. And we couldn't do that if we started planning immediately right. and then got married the next year. So last year was our first full year engaged. We wanted to start planning uh, June of last year for June of this year. You know, we got some things we're working on like for investment purposes. So a lot of that just held us up. The last thing I want to do is go into planning our wedding, um, you know, with a foggy mind. I don't want to be distracted by other things. I want everything to be like crystal clear and we can devote 100% of our time to that, but we are shooting for a June. So if it's not this upcoming June, which I feel like it's completely normal to plan a wedding for six months. So in January, if yeah, people actually plan like up to a year. Yeah, no, people take you, up to you a year. wanted to take a year, That's but I think a year thing. is crazy. People take up to a, a full year to fully plan a wedding. We've tried to sit down and talk about it, but I feel like we haven't really sat down and like yeah. actually made a clear plan of even what we want to do. Like we still don't know if we want a big wedding, if we want a small wedding, if we want to just go to a courthouse, if we want to, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. there's so many different options nowadays so it's like we don't even know what we want to do yet but regardless we do want to keep our same anniversary date but it's, it's not a deal breaker if it comes time where we just want to you know get married go get married then we'll you know do that but we're just kind of like we just want to tackle everything in our life before we so we can actually have a clear mindset 100 percent devote all of our time to you know just trying to create the best memorable experience for us i thought this was a real interesting question but i could see how people will be wondering this but most of your youtube friends have slash are having kids does that make you feel more pressured and on a personal level when do you guys plan on starting your family and what's holding you back so no i don't feel <clears throat> pressured at all i'm happy for everyone of course i don't ever think whatever anyone else is doing with their life that means i have to be doing it like i never felt that way i don't feel pressured at all actually Actually, someone else's journey that's theirs you know what I'm saying that's their life path this is literally my real life that we're talking about I'm not gonna get pregnant for no YouTube channel I'm not gonna get pregnant because I feel pressured I'm not gonna get pregnant just because people are telling me I'm gonna be pregnant when I truly Wanna want be. to that's and feel ready to if anything made me feel pressured it, it would be age <laughs> I always wanted to have a kid at like around the age of 25 so if anything mm -hmm. that's the only thing that makes me feel more anxious to have one I'm like damn but as far as like seeing other people nah definitely don't feel i mean we do be getting out. baby fever yeah like baby seeing... fever is different <laughs> babies are just so cute we will both be open to have a kid today if that time came you know what i mean but i kind of want to do a textbook uh this more so transpired from you i know mm -hmm. how you like look at everything you want to conceive like on your honeymoon you know i'm I mean? a virgo okay so i gotta <laughs> plan everything on our honeymoon i want to get pregnant we gotta make sure you're ovulating on our yeah. honeymoon so yeah that's our plan so the <laughs> when are you guys gonna have a baby y'all will know when we get married when you guys when you guys see we get married then you know the baby is coming right afterwards you feel me yeah so yeah it's god's timing slash our timing you know what i mean i mean that's our plan but who knows god might have another plan yeah so exactly you never know <laughs> <laughs> would you guys ever do a threesome or something to spice up your relationship no <laughs> would we ever i can't say we wouldn't, but it's not something I'm interested in at the moment. And I'm sure, I'm sure you're not interested, right? <laughs> you see, I'm... We might be that super kinky couple in the future. No one ever knows. <laughs> Me personally, no. I can confidently say I personally would never have a threesome. For real? I feel like threesome is like single activities. Like if you're single and you want to like yeah. have a threesome experience. I don't know. I just can't ever picture myself having a threesome with you. Pra that was pra the questions we asked was practically every question babies marriage inconsistency yeah and that's like the that's like the top three so yeah. and there was one other question that i feel like we avoid the most and we're going to continue to avoid it <laughs> but it's about two particular people that i had to cut out of my life they will never be spoken on period this is the thing these matters are extremely deep i would 100 percent be open to talk about them but uh, i'm, I'm getting give, mad we're not about to give nobody clout we've been used a lot i'm starting to i'm Just, starting to boy <laughs> it's a whole lot of stuff it. um but yeah we're not gonna speak about it because we're not giving nobody clout even aside from clout i just get like infuriated every time i even think about things you get what i'm saying like you think you're so close to people you know what i mean and then you find out so many crazy things behind closed doors but like and that's why we're really picky mm. with who we're friends with who we're cool with so just know the friends that we got right now y'all know we're locked in and i've always been really picky 
and I think babe is learning <laughs> to be more picky and um our friends mm -hmm. our real friends know that yeah. we're good genuine people and only the best people get access to yeah. us period and I, don't well, care, I don't care if that sounds <laughs> I don't care if that sounds cocky it's yeah. the truth we are very good people we're genuine people and not everybody deserves that from us specifically me with a lot of the friends that we lost like I broke my back for so many people yeah. I changed so many people's lives <laughs> I'm not gonna say who, but specifically one. They know who. One you know. one person, one person, cut me off and never like just never spoke to me. How about this? How about this? Just go listen to Trust Loss. Uh, my song Trust Loss. That song was a real song. That's gonna explain every situation, bro. While we're on friends, a lot of you guys also asked uh, about our social media friends. We are not on bad terms with any of our social media friends. Like. I don't think we ever they think will if we, be. They think if we don't show up to like someone's event, like y'all, we can't make it to every single event. Everyone lives in completely different areas of the country, okay? And sometimes our schedules just don't line up. Just because we don't show up to an event, that don't mean yeah. we're not friends with nobody, okay? Just know we love them all, like, unconditionally. Like, that's our, like, we locked in for life, you know what I mean? That's not going to change. Yeah, so I feel like we answered everything that everybody has always been wanting to know. Even if it was vaguely, you know, some things that we just don't want to go in and detail we don't about. To, period. But if you know the people we're talking about, you know the people we're talking about. You know what I'm saying? And at this point, you know, life just played out a certain way. And I am 100% yes. grateful that we got handed, in my opinion, the long end of the stick, bro. Like, we, yeah. we have been blessed since... You know, we were cleansed of so much toxicity and negativity that we didn't even know was in it front was of us. a blessing in disguise. <sighs> Life is beautiful. We love y'all so much. Thank you guys for even tuning in and, you know, just listening to us. Uh, I love y'all. I know my baby loves y'all because she tell me every single day, go cop our merch. As always, remember, have had a little opportunity. So keep your head And keep your head in the mud when they get what they want And niggas couldn't even reach out and low-key fuck me up How you pull a pistol on someone you claim you love How could you leave someone in the dirt when you came from us? I've been down so grimy by the ones I love the most That's why my heart is cold now I've been down so grimy to the point I'm losing hope That's not how I'm about to go out uh -huh. And the ones that clean it with you, the ones that's right beside you Might be the ones that try to kill you, I guess that's what pride do Niggas never wanna go out and get it when you walked in, it turned to a competition.